kwa watu wa na ule mavu zika zika ziko katika kaburi la sahau hii ni kulingana na Harun Hassan mkurugenzi mtendaji wa muungano wa watu wanaoishi na ule mavu hapa nchini usajili wa kidijitali unaoendeshwa sasa utasaidia pakubwa kupunguza gharama za usafiri katika hafla ya kaunti ya Kisumu mkurugenzi mtendaji huyo alisema kuwa kufuati ugatuzi usajili wa watu wanaoishi na ule mavu umemarishwa pasi na hapo awali ilipokuwa ikimgarimu muhusika kusafiri Nairobi ili kupata huduma Uh, we are here for an exercise or a training for county medical assessment team uh, for purposes of registration for persons with disability. As you know very well, to register persons with disability, there must be some ascertainity from medics or uh, you know, uh, health professionals. Previously, this process is not a devolved function, it was a national function. And the signature of the director of medical services is what ascertains that this is someone with disability so that the government through national council for persons with disability will register this person and capture them in the data but because the the process and now there is a devolution and some function of the health has been devolved we felt as a government then the process of registration for persons with disability must be devolved the earlier process was tough and hectic for persons with disability people have to travel all the way from all part of the country to follow up on the status of the registration going to Afi House, Nairobi. It's cumbersome, tedious and painful process. But this process now is about we have once the, the teams are trained, the signature is devolved to County Director of Medical Services. The County Director of Medical Services signature becomes now final. And then we capture you know uh, the data in, in, in our system. So this training is a nationwide training done in three centers. One in Nairobi as we're sitting right now and another one in Nairo Nakuru and another one in Western and Nyanza and South Rift Access here in Kisumu. Hata hivyo mkurugenzi mtenda juu yu halisema kuwa mafunzo ayo bila shaka ya stasaidia pakubwa kupigwa msasa vilivyo kwa watu wanaweishi na ulemavu kufuati utaratibu waliweka rais kenyata mwakajana halipofungua na kuhudhuria rasmi siku ya kimataifa ya watu wanaweishi na ulemavu akisiti za kuutaratibu wa sajili wa hapu wa uku wa na wazi. This also follows the presidential directive on 3rd of December when the president officiated the International Day for Persons with Disability. During that day, the prophet say, uh, the government must sanitize, you know, uh, the process of registration for persons with disability because it is marred with some irregularities and, you know, there's a fraud and, you know, something like that. So because the system is as old as literally the council, National Council for Persons with Disability, it's also now in our effort to now uh, uh, roll out new registration system also, which is now up and running. And we are migrating people to the new system, and we will be recalling very soon in a, in a year's time. You know, uh, in less than a year's time, we are going to declare the old disability card as a redundant because those card is very weak. Kupanda wake Douglas Kotut, ushirikiano katia wizara ya afya, pamoja na mungano wa watu wanaweishi na ulemavu kufumbua mchakato wa usajili, umesaidia pakubwa mungano huo kusajili zaidi ya watu 1600 kila mwaka, walio kumbwa na ulemavu tofauti tofauti. We are very happy uh, for this opportunity this, uh, uh, today. I think as a ministry, we are very happy that we have reached this stage. Uh, the engagement... The engagement with the National Council, with the Minister of Health, started way back in 2008 uh, with a request. Uh, with the coming in of the Disability Act in 2003, uh, the National Council, when, uh, as you realize, one of mandates is registration. They reached to the Minister of Health way back in 2008 for the ministry to assist them because they don't have the technical capacity to assess and categorize somebody with uh, disability. So this process uh, has been uh, ongoing since uh, 2008. And as the CEO said, uh, uh, through that process, we have been able to help the National Council register close to 600, 500 to 600,000 people with various forms of disabilities, uh, ranging from uh, physical disabilities, visual disabilities, hearing disabilities, learning disabilities, uh, mental disabilities and uh, others called chronic progressive disabilities. Daniel Dembede, Look Up TV, Kaunti ya Kisumu. Katibu mkuu wa ID.